Welcome to Sink Sue Sink TV. I'm your host, Niji Sabik, and you already know how we're doing it. It's going to be an amazing show. Why? Because we got the star in the building. Don't worry, you're going to find out soon. But before we get started, make sure you guys are logging on to www.sanksusanktv.com. Without your support, where would we be? We need you. You know that? Yeah, you. You're important to us. And Guess what? There's a pandemic going on around here, so I hope you guys are staying healthy. Make sure you're washing your hands, wearing your mask, keeping your distance, you know, all the good stuff to make sure you're up to par. Stay tuned, though. We'll be right back. Big enough sing, so sing. This is the hottest show in the world right now. I'm ready to be good as good as if I want to win. Même les ou en tour, c'est moi même qui m'en dois pas donc. Bye bye, au revoir. Va, va, va. Elephant Man represents. Sing, so sing TV. They gave me nothing. Hey, so. Ooh, itching already. <laughs> One of the signs. I'm telling you, I was amazed when some of the things you were saying. I'm a shorty that's deep in love. Makes me believe. Woo, child, we talking about 2001, 2002. I'm going to show them otherwise. Man, I do music. <laughs> Has anyone seen that movie? <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my music. Boy. I'm happy to be here. I know you are. Together we do the work. When I make music, I don't make it for me. I always sing one or two songs as a drummer. Hey guys, and we are back. We are here at the lovely Express Lounge with none other than the star himself, Mr. Alexander Starr. Yee. Yeah, your name is, if it's befitting, okay? Why, you, thank you. Yeah, no, you've done so much. I know the last time we've interviewed each other, I at that point, I think that was how many years ago? I can't even remember. It had to be in like 2017. Yeah, and like at that. that point you were 15 years in the game. Yeah, oh, damn, you got a memory, don't you? I know, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm going to I'm I'm try, though. I'm going to try. And in those 15 years, I wouldn't even say 15 anymore. It's about 18 yeah, now. Yeah, I, I guess so. I about guess so. About 18 years, and your resume is impressive. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's really, really impressive. Before we jump into your resume, how are you? I'm alive and well, so I have no complaints, and uh, I'm thriving. So You're I feel thriving. Good. Yeah. I love it. Now, when you came in the door, I did notice something on your arm. What? What's, you know, I, I have to ask right off the top. Oh, this old thing right here? Old it's, thing? That's yeah. not old. What it's is kind of, it? It's kind of an eye catcher. So I'm a type 1 diabetic. No. Right? So for, I, I got it when I was 15 years old. Oh, wow. So before this type of technology existed, I had to, like, prick my finger all the time to know where my blood sugar was. But what this does is it sends a consistent signal to a device that puts it on a line graph. So I don't even got to check. I don't have to prick my finger. I can just go like this, look at the screen, and it tells you exactly what my blood sugar is. Kidding me. On a line graph. So I know which way it's going and everything. So Do you yeah. have to take it off when you shower? <laughs> nah, it's waterproof. Wow. Waterproof. And you leave it on for 10 days at a time. 10 days later, I change it, put a new one in, and I'm good to go. Type 1 diabetic. Does yeah. it stop you at all? Nah. No, not at all. It actually motivates me because I know a lot. Like diabetes is getting crazy. Yeah, and um, my, my not to it's just to cut you off. My my grandfather passed away. And diabetes, um, so. one of my big bros passed away at 31 yeah. Ooh, from diabetes yeah. because he didn't control it. Mm. And um, my thing is like I'm not ashamed of this. People look at you weird. Yeah, you know. But I'm like when they ask me, I tell them because I feel like people need to know. There's like a lot of people getting diabetes that. 
don't know how to take care of it. And I want to be like living proof that you can thrive that with you diabetes and manage thrive. yourself. Yeah, because that's impressive. You, you know, and I'm and I'm and I kind of wanted to throw that in there early. Why? Because you said you stood from 15, you were diagnosed. Yeah. So yeah. from 15, you were diagnosed. Here it is, maybe 18 years in the game. And like I said, your resume is impressive. And I want to start off first. So you are a Emmy nominated yeah. songwriter at this point. Soon at put, this point, as no, of soon course. throw the W. In how does there. how does that feel though? That's I mean, it feels great because once you get something like that, once you get once once you could say like Emmy nominated or Grammy nominated, Heck it's like a yeah. passport, right? It's like a social passport. Open the door, please. Because everybody does music, right? Yeah. Everybody does everything. And if I say, "Hey, what's up? I'm an artist." Uh, all right, cool. Yeah. So is my nephew. So is my cousin. Cool. That would have said, "Oh yeah, I'm Emmy nominated." Oh really? Oh, exactly. let me hear about you a little bit. Exactly. And that's what I call it. It's like a passport. Why and, fully? Um, why fully independent? Well, that's why the that way to choice? go. That's Why? the way, that, that's the only way. It's not for everyone to go. else. Well, independent is the way to go until you have so much momentum that you need to scale beyond where you can at the moment. Like if I wanted to get a major record deal without momentum, it would be a slave deal. Like it mm. doesn't make any sense. Like if you go to a bank and you say I need a million dollar loan and then they say, "Well, how much do you have invested in your own business?" Oh, like $4,000. They're not going to give you a million right. dollars because right. you don't have the equity built up in your own self to to warrant them saying, you know what, we're going to we're going to give you a million because we know you're going to make it back. It's Correct. the same thing as an artist. As an artist, you got to invest in yourself and win so much that the labels are like, oh, this dude is winning without us. So eventually you want to get to that level eventually. to where you, you want to get signed. But right now yeah. it's fully independent throughout these entire years. Yeah. Yeah, cause we gotta bootstrap it. Nobody, nobody hands anything out. Nobody puts anybody on. You gotta, you gotta make your own momentum. And here's here's how I put it, right? Yeah, tell the me. music industry is like lunch tables, right? You have winning lunch tables, and when you can sit at these tables, you will win with the other people winning. Correct. But if you don't yet have social access to these lunch tables, you gotta cook your own food and make your food so appealing. That everybody else wants to come sit at your lunch table. The way that story just flowed, like like sounds like you said this too many times. Yeah. You said it a lot of time because that was good. Appreciate I'm about that. To go, look, I don't got hey. me one from I don't got me one from one artist. Now I got another from another artist. Hey, I gotta go get my book experience. out. No, but that's but that's so true. And it's almost to you know I asked someone earlier, you know, about the team that you build. You know, mm -hmm. because I, I, we're gonna go through your resume, but you've done mm -hmm. so much. But I know you can't just do it by yourself. Not at all. No. You know, and how was that? You know, building the right team to get to these those steps that you've taken. That's an excellent question. I mean, um, your vibe attracts your tribe. Mm. So you're not going to find the right people until you're being who you genuinely are and doing what you're genuinely born to do. Mm. When that happens, the people who are in alignment with, with, with what they're supposed to do, you all like all the pieces come together. Hold that thought. See what I'm saying? Come on now. Yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> Healthcare workers and nurses are in high demand. Take your first step toward a medical career today at Ideal Professional Institute in Miami Gardens. With multiple programs available, you can become a patient care technician in just nine months, a home health aide in under one month, an LPN in just a year. Ideal Professional Institute is licensed by the state of Florida. So register now. Call 305-653-7886. All right, so your energy is super amazing. By the way, guys, we are back. As you can see, I'm ready to dive in. Okay, so now you're, you, okay. Five-time United Nations performer. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, Please, I, so. I mean, that's a fancy way of saying that I've performed inside the United Nations headquarters five times. I don't know if there's many people who could really say that. Exactly. But, you know, I, I, I've realized that you got to say, you got to list your accomplishments to make people ask about them. So, yeah, I'm a five-times UN performer and how did that come about how was that there, your first opportunity to do that how was that excellent question i mean it was it's kind of crazy because the un like that's huge it's, it's a <laughs> yes, global so thing global. and um <laughs> you know my first way in was i made an anthem called this is my era that aligned with a world leaders conference mm. and i pitched it to them oh that's what's up and ended up getting invited into the united nations to perform 
for the conference, right? So it was crazy. Like Terry Crews was there, gave I a speech, saw. and then he jumped on stage with me and performed while I was doing my record. And um, it's just, it's a really cool niche to have music that resonates with people so positively that the UN will right. have you in there. Right. right. I'm just making dope music without being ignorant. And cool. that's kind of gotten me around the world. That's been like my lane. Right. You could be dope without being, you know, ignorant. That's just what I do. I like it. And I like how you just open up that segue to say being around the world, because that's truly what you've done from performing in Rwanda. Um, so many Ooh, different. Yeah. And Rwanda. twice. Right. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Why you say it like that? What happened? I love Rwanda. It's just, man. Rwanda is just like. It, first of all, if you haven't been to Africa, you need to go. What they tell us about Africa here in the U.S. It's not is, it. Go to Africa, man. It's just a whole other. So you thing. weren't scared at all. No, I'm, I felt, my family's African, by the way. But go ahead. Okay. Well, my my dad's from Gambia, so we'll oh go. sweet. Yeah. So I felt more at peace when I touched down in Rwanda than I do here at home. Often. Oh wow! Like it's just, it was just so peaceful. And um, there was one particular thing. So I performed at the Umunu Arts Festival, mm. right? Um, and it's an annual festival promoting peace in post-genocide Rwanda. They had a genocide oh, yeah. in 1994. Mm -hmm, killed mm -hmm. a million people yeah. in 100 days. 10,000 people a day murdered for 100 days straight. So the peop And that happened in 94, so when I was a kid. So the people my age are all living with PTSD. Yeah. Like massive PTSD. Yeah. So they have this festival where it just brings people together through music and good vibes. How did they take it, though? How was the crowd for you? How was the oh, vibe for you? Incredible. Just absolutely loving, endearing. Uh, they knew my song like, right? when I get there because I was asked to write a new anthem for the festival. Oh, that's like, awesome. Incredibly honored. But I told them, listen, I'm honored to do that. But for it to be authentic, please connect me with the Rwandan artist right. so we could do it together because right. I haven't been there before. Correct. So we did. They connected me with Andy Bumunu, who's okay. an incredible artist. And we made the record Show Me The Way. And if you go on YouTube right now and type in Show Me The Way, Alexander Starr, you will see the whole Rwanda experience, the festival. We visited kids at an elementary school who nice. choreographed a dance, oh my taught God. us the dance, and we brought them on stage at the festival. So you're dancing? Yeah. Oh, my God, I got to yeah. go watch this. I got to see. With, with the help of Rwandan <laughs> primary school kids. Okay, I got to see. It was I so see dope. It. But I yeah, Rwanda it. changed my life, especially when I went on safari. Safari? As, as, for the second year in a row, the second year in Rwanda, they took us on safari as like a celebration. And to be that far away from people, there's nothing like it. Oh, oh that is, now that is nerve wracking. I, I had them, although my father's from Africa, I have not been yet. Okay. Okay, so I do want to go, and that's probably one of the things that I would like to experience. Oh, you have to. Is a safari and having the actual lion jump on my car. And so, well, <laughs> we, we didn't get that experience. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we didn't get that yet. I'm just saying that's what I want. But it was though. so. I know peaceful. it's probably nerve wracking, but that's what I want to see. It was so it, like you drive two and a half hours away from the city and then five hours into. The I'm park. done. Okay, how so many hours? Like, yeah, it was. It was yeah, like that's... a seven hour trip into the park. It was amazing. Oh, uh, it was amazing. Uh, I love Science. it. All right, so besides Rwanda, um, France. You, uh -huh. you you went to France and you were a part of the biggest TV, one of their biggest TV reality shows. Wait. Le, uh, let me see what I was like. Leons? No. Close. No, oh, you just I missed know. the S. Les Anges. Les Anges. But it sounds so. Les Anges. The Angels, right? Les Anges, yeah. The Angels. Oh my God. Okay. How was that experience? That was really cool, man. It was. It's basically like the real world of France. Yeah. Right? So a bunch of French reality stars. Because you're and teaching them how. To, you're coaching them how to write. Yeah. So. So, like, that's. I wrote the anthem for that season of Les Anges, Les Anges gotcha. Nouveau, the ninth season. And. They asked me to be on the show to teach the song to the cast. Got you. And to show help help them rewrite it in French. And then they came to the studio and I engineered them and I gave them the whole Alexander Star expertise experience. <laughs> Taught them how to sing my song and record That's... my song and then they released it as a single in France. Oh my god, I love yeah. it. Oh my god, there's so much more to go. Okay, you guys, guess what? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Big up, sing so sing. This is the hottest show in the world right now. I'm ready to be good as good step up when I win. Même les ou en tour, c'est moi même qui m'ont dit pardon. Bye bye, au revoir. Va va va. Elephant Man represents. Sing so sing TV. They gave me nothing. Hey, so. Ooh, itching already. <laughs> One of the signs. I'm telling you, I was amazed when some of the things you were saying. I'm a shorty that's deep in love. Bring that. 
Makes me believe. Woo, child, we talking about 2001, 2002. I'm going to show them otherwise. Man, I do me. <laughs> Has anyone seen that movie? <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my music. Man. I'm happy to be here. I know you are. Together we do the work. When I make music, I don't make it for me. I always sing one or two songs as a drummer. All right, guys, and we are back with the star, Alexander Star. Mm. <laughs> All right, so from France, you went to Morocco, you went to UK, you went to Rome. You've been, a, I, I would say, you've yeah. been all over the world. We've been, we've been hopping around. I got some passport stamps. Yeah, you, t yeah, yeah, you do. Just a couple a books. <laughs> I'm scared though, because the U.S. passport, people don't like that no more. So why? Why? Because of what's going on. Forty-five. Oh, about that too. I'm sorry. Okay, back back to just us. Just saying. No, no, no politics. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, but, okay, back to back to us. Now, my question to you is, how did it feel opening up for Earth, Wind, and Fire at the Sunfest? You know, that was special because why? Tell me why. they were backstage watching us perform. No. It's me and my live band, the Golden People. And, like, you know, just first of all, performing at Sunfest, it's a huge festival. Exactly. We, we, you know, we were selected, and, you know, we're South Florida bred, so we get to rep in our home That's area right, hometown. but then with earth wind and fire backstage it was just kind of like you know after we got off they were like hey man you guys are amazing oh. so i mean if ever you want like a co-sign coming from earth wind and fire that's like big because they're like real legends Heck living yeah. legends musicians like so for us to be complimented by them it just you know for me it says a lot to my heart and it's like you know what keep going that's right it definitely yeah. says keep going especially when someone that big mm -hmm. um just compliments what you do is there anyone that you would like to collab with though oh my gosh i should have been more ready for that question so yeah. many people yeah. um i like i like yeah <laughs> she's uh J. Cole. Yeah. You look like like yeah, that vibe. Wait a minute, hold up. Just cause I'm light skinned, I no, gotta look like No, I it. said vibe. I didn't oh, say okay, okay, okay. You I was about see? to say. Like, hey, listen, I've been discriminated, hey. light skinned discriminated so much in my hey, life. Hey, kid, Anyways, that colorism just, is just, real. Just, just, no, go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Artists like Jake really to be honest, yeah. I wanna collaborate with anyone who's working as hard as or harder than I am. Mm. That's pretty much where I'm at in my career i'm not gonna like siphon out because you don't know where the golden connection is going to come from correct i could pick and choose who i want to work with but correct. you never know as long as you are operating in full capacity and going as as hard and as fast as you can with your art yeah. if we align like yo let's collab yeah but if you're not working as hard as i am no thank you but is that so then what what curates your your positivity you know what i'm saying because i know i read i read too in your bio you know that's what you're known for that positive energy that you give you know you give out what yeah. what helps yeah. that to keep going because i know there's so many things happening in this world you know the law of attraction really you know you create your own reality by the way that you think about it right and you know i just really believe that I can be successful without necessarily compromising who I actually am as a person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm one of those kids who was raised to like make your parents proud, mm. regardless of you know who you are and who you want to become. My parents just told me like, do what you do with love, and you will succeed. Wow, and that's that, awesome. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. And because um, that was gonna, that was my next question. You know, how is that support system for you? You know, especially of doing so much. You have a child. You know, you know. I don't know. You know, everything I, with your background, but. It, it's difficult sometimes following your passion you know it so is. how is that with the support um the support is amazing the support is amazing and having 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 a child just makes me like more of a business because you can't really waste my time now mm. i could be home playing with my son so what are we doing here right now let's achieve it let's work let's rock but if we're not doing anything i got other places to be that's pretty much what having a kid did yeah, for me what? and uh our little girl will be here in november oh! So I'm gonna be a girl, dad. 
Yeah. yeah, you will be a girl's ass when we first hashtag in a post of her. Uh, yeah, you, everything gets curated through the wife though, so she's gonna. <laughs> I can't. She gets mad when I post pictures without running it by her. So. Well, that's what it's about. You guys are a team. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That's what you signed up for. That's that's what I signed up for, and I'm perfectly cool with it. Let's oh, go. Oh, let her Let's know. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I know we're gonna touch this a little bit. Your birthday's coming up, um, mm-hmm. September 26th. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. September 26th, and then yes. you also said you're gonna bless the world. Did I say that? You do I don't it. know if I use those words. That doesn't sound like me, but I will. I, I receive you say, it. You say go. You say I go to the video, it. huh? You say go to the video. Go what? What video? Oh, okay. I, I'll yeah, defi- I check out his IG. I, I would definitely nah, bless the world yeah, yeah, yeah. with no, a new song coming out. Got a new song coming yes, out. I do got a new one. song coming out. It's called "I'm a Mess" Tell on my birthday. It. So, I mean, in essence, like everything you see on social media, right? It's curated. It's highlights. Yeah. And for me, especially with all the, the, the things that you said that I've done, and like the accomplishments, everybody thinks my life is perfect. Everybody thinks, oh, he's such a positive guy. His, his, his whole life is sunshine and, and, and fluffy clouds, and it's not really like that. Wait, say that, start, so that, so that they can get it in, in full details, because I don't want to take a break in between. Not only is it not like that for me, it's not like that for any of your favorite artists or anybody who's doing anything on social media, they post highlights. We post highlights. So don't ever hold your personal life standards to what you see other people posting because it's all curated. Hold that thought. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Let's go. Yo, yo. Yo, so fella, I'm a born of Vodia Swazo. Vodia is lit. For the people who are Eh. No more yes, Farah. Comment qui fera pour la zoo? Faut y a marié jeudi à la. J'aimerais aller à la base au Corville, tout à vous. Non, 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 And I'm saying so saying. This is the hottest show in the world right now. I'm ready to be good as good step up when I'm wine. Même les ouan tour, c'est moi même qui m'en doit pas don. Bye bye, au revoir. Va, va, va. Elephant Man represents. 5 sur 5 TV. They gave me nothing. Hey, so. Ooh, itching already. <laughs> One of the signs. I'm telling you, I was amazed when some of the things you were saying. I'm a shorty that's deep in love. Makes me believe. Woo, child, we talking about 2001, 2002. I'ma show them otherwise. Man, I do music. <laughs> Has anyone seen that booty? <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my music. Man. I'm happy to be here. I know you are. Together we do the work. When I make music, I don't make it for me. I always sing one or two songs as a drummer. All right, guys, and we are back. Got to pick up where we left off, though, because I, I loved where that was going. All right, so it's not all about what you see. It's not. It's not. And and for me in particular, if you if you Google me, if you look up my work, it's all positive energy. And yeah. it's, it's so positive to the point where people don't understand that I have another side as well. Because that's what I was going to say. Why, if, you, if, it, if it looks so positive, why not call it something positive? Why say I'm a mess? Because it's true. I am a complete mess. You just nobody really sees it, and and I'm sure that a lot of people can can relate to that. Um, but it's not a mess in a bad way. Right, right, right. You know, uh, the way that the way that I wrote the chorus is complicated, man. It's complicated. I'm a mess, but I know that's why you love me, baby. Like, 
we it's love the truth. it's the truth like it's the truth it's funny because meek mills just put out a, a, a um he posted something today and he was wiping his face with money he was like i you, yeah you see the money but you don't see the pain like what right. you know what i'm saying what he That's had kind of dirty to, though wiping your face with but money. it wasn't real money i think it was a cloth oh, it was like okay. a handkerchief okay. or something but it was like <laughs> it would look like real authentic but just to say right. that people we don't see the pain behind it's, it all yeah yeah it's true and i mean because you know do. But, but but honestly though if you do put the pain out there what people really watch what people really be engaged i mean i know you see the reality tv shows the fights and all mm -hmm. that but to take you serious as an artist i mean i think you have to okay i think you have to because it's so exhausting to try and put up this image right that you're perfect all the time that you're in foreign cars all the time that you're winning all the time like you wouldn't be winning if you didn't lose a lot like mm -hmm. you learn to win by losing so tell people about the losses right and then tell them how to win based on what you learn on the losses and that's kind of where i'm going with i'm a mess it's kind of like i talk about my successes but i talk about what what you don't realize i had to do or what i had to feel or think in pursuit of these successes you how, know? how important do you think that is right now especially with everything going on with uh, protesting and like you said 45 and the mentality of people how important do you think that is well it's extremely important to understand that the best way to get where you're going and gain ground is by being authentic to yourself mm -hmm. right in the social media era everybody wants to be like somebody else or at least they're convinced that following the other person's footsteps is going to get them that person's results but that's not the case correct your results come from your footsteps you walk in somebody else's path they've already picked all the fruit off of those trees that they were walking past so you're trying to follow that path and all the fruit has been picked already if you blaze your own trail it's fresh fruit everywhere that's made just for you did you have a mentor or someone to keep you with your head on straight or you know someone to you know just kind of talk to you or get you encouraged again because like you said you're a mess but a good one because you know you've been through some stuff yeah absolutely uh, i have so many mentors i just i just got a, a great network of of great people who kind of help me stay grounded and, and and keep me in focus of what my goal is and um you know really the business side of things is the scary part it's the hard part it's easy to be an artist it's easy to create and be like oh look how profound i am yeah because that's, a, that's then, actually a lot to do to be the artist and to, and work to be the, the admin yeah because yeah, like once you have your art now it's a product that you have to convince people is worth their time their attention and their money right so to stay afloat not only had to be a, an artist you got to be a business mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that has been the learning curve throughout these years it's and how to how to work the two how to you kind of have to do it in seasons like you have a season of creating you have a season of administrating mm. right and then once your creation and your administration lock in and get a certain result now you can bring on a team to do the administration say, i was just gonna ask then how is that when it comes down to bringing on a team because now yeah. you're wearing all these hats it's almost like man i'm doing mm -hmm. it already by myself why do i need a team absolutely i mean you really just you need people who believe in you yeah. and who care about you yeah um and then when the money starts coming in you can compensate them for their time mm. and and you know you break bread when you get something you break off and share with everybody and then that incentivizes people to be like oh let's get let's get some more wins exactly and then and then that's how it grows you know i think that's i think that's so important though like you know building that right that right team of people everyone's on the same mindset like you said because yeah. sometimes some people don't want to joint venture with you if they're not getting compensated immediately which is understandable you it know is understandable. i mean so to find that yeah to, it's like to, yeah. you know what I'm saying so hey just come on with me with my journey believe in me just as I believe in myself and mm -hmm. let's see where it goes yeah and, and time is valuable so you know when you're when you're wanting people to work with you always think of ways that it's going to benefit them I know a Ooh. lot of artists save that, that thought hold on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay alright guys we'll be right back time out
big enough sing so sing. This is the hottest show in the world right now. I'm ready to eat good as good step on when I'm wine. Même les ou en tour, c'est moi même qui m'en dois pardon. Bye bye all fat. Va va va. Elephant man represent. 5 sur 5 TV. They gave me nothing. Hey so. Ooh, itching already. <laughs> One of the signs. I'm telling you, I was amazed when some of the things you were saying. I'm a shorty that's deep in love. Makes me believe. Woo, child, we talking about 2001, 2002. I'm gonna show them otherwise. Man, I do music. <laughs> Has anyone seen that booty? <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my music. I'm happy to be here. I know you are. Together we do the work. When I make music, I don't make it for me. I always sing one or two songs as a drummer. Right, guys and we are back okay now we don't have much time and look with your resume I can go on and on and on and on okay but I do like what you just said and I thought that was pretty impressive because a lot of people usually have I wouldn't say it's a selfish mentality but it's always about them especially when they're trying to pursue their career yeah. you said when you're building a team make sure you think about how it's gonna benefit it the people that them. you're asking to join you in your journey you know yeah, it's huge. I had to learn that too, you know, because yeah, when you when your tunnel impressive. vision on trying to achieve something, right. okay, I need a graphic designer, oh, I need a video person, I need to, like you need all these people, and if you can't pay them, how can you ask them to do that without compensating them in ways other than pay? Correct. So you just have to be like creative in how you can be like strategic partners Correct. with people. Right, right, right. My career has been fueled by strategic partnerships. I haven't had an investor yet. I haven't had a label behind me. It's literally been my value connecting with someone else's value so that we both win. I like that. You know? And that's literally what's gotten me through, uh, you know, all my achievements up to this point. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so now at this 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 point, I mean, if they want to know anything else, they need to go on your websites, they need to go on your, your Instagram, they need to do all of those things. But right now, I want to talk about what you're doing at this moment. Okay. At this moment. Yeah, at this moment. I'm completing my album. Wow. It's called Five Star General Project. Nice. And it's produced by Grammy winning multi platinum QST music group. These boys are dope. We got a single called Let's Play that's Ooh. already out. We did it's the anthem for Extreme Action Park. Oh so, really? Yeah, so if you oh. look up Alexander Star Let's Play. Oh, that's why you were there and I looked at it and I saw it. you was uh -huh. like, Let's guess what's playing. Yep. So, oh, yep, yeah, then okay, you okay. if you if you go to Extreme, you're gonna hear my song playing outside and you're gonna hear my voice. So, how did you feel about rules. that? It, it, you know, it, it, he's a little like, okay, it's, it's, it's cool. And you know, my son, he's hard to impress. Okay. So once he's, you know, he's been to an interview, been to a, da, 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 he's like, oh, yeah, that's just my dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so QST is, is, is executive producing five star general project. Okay. Okay. I'm a mess. It's like a single produced by Vitaman coming out uh, September 26th. Yes. And this hat I got on right here, Civilized, Ooh. Civilized Nations Clothing. Um, my boy China and I, we got a collaboration. I just did a record called Too Civilized. Okay. And uh, we're doing a strategic partnership to okay. shoot a video and release the song so that his clothing line and my music can rise up the two, together. The two values. Come and he's a, he's a Haitian business owner. Nice. So, you know, shout out to China. And we're building. So I, I, And that's only a few things. Oh, yeah. Handy so, Ink. Okay. Handy Ink, helping What's you. Go, and, and tell me something about the writer, gold, gold writer. Oh, Gold Writer Pro? Don't tell me that. Go ahead, finish on the other one. Okay, Sorry. cool. <laughs> so I just helped Handy Ink, helping abuse neglected, disadvantaged youth, oh. produce their first album. Wow. With with teen with inner city teens, we collaborated via Zoom, and I helped them write and record oh, wow. an original project, and we did an album. Uh, we still trying to figure out when we're gonna put that out, but look out for that because it's gonna be dope. These kids are dope. So you didn't let the pandemic stop you. I no. like that. He's like, zoom it up, let's go. No, 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 no. Yeah, zoom it up. Zoom I like it up. that. Okay, writers. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, Gold Rider Pro. Right? Gold Rider Pro. Okay. How did you find that? By the way. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So, see, I, see, I did my own research. No, I, I'll throw that out there because I'm not ready to 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 pitch that yet. Got you. But I'm doing an online songwriting tutorial 
teaching my songwriting process because it's it's done some things for me and I know that there's always somebody that's at least one step behind me that might want to Cor- learn from what I do. Correct. So Gold Writer Pro is my songwriting, lyric writing, meaningful writing tutorial. Well, that's my next question uh, before we close. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there is someone watching you. There are people that Absolutely. aspire to be where you are. What would you say to them so they don't give up? Ooh, um, find purpose. Mm. Purpose because... Lots of people have talent, right? Someone with less talent than you can get where you're trying to go because they had a goal in mind. Mm -hmm. Purpose is what gives your talent a GPS to follow. Without purpose, your talent will go zoop, 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 but never reach that destination. Take your talent, assign a purpose to it, and that's how you're going to get quickly to where you're trying to be. Amazing. Stars in the building. (laughs) <laughs> All right, please give them your Instagram handles. <laughs> Everything across the board is Mr. Alexander Star at M R Alexander S T A R on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, w- Twitter, TikTok, everything, all those everything, good stuff. everything. Yeah, yeah, all those good stuff. Okay, so did I leave out anything? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I, I, I think you did an amazing job. Oh, look at that! And give we me vibe my flowers every time. While I'm here. We vibe every time. Ew. Let's go. On that note, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Big up, sing, so sing. This is the hottest show in the world right now. I'm ready to be good as good step up when I'm waiting. Même les ou en tour, c'est moi même qui m'en dois pas don. Bye bye, au revoir. Va, va, va. Elephant Man represent. Sing, so sing, TV. They gave me nothing. Hey, so. Ooh, itching already. <laughs> One of the signs. I'm telling you, I was amazed when some of the things you were saying. I'm a shorty that's deep in love. Nice. Makes me believe. Woo, child, we talking about 2001, 2002. I'm a shorty I'm otherwise. Man, I do music. <laughs> Has anyone seen that booty? <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my music. I'm happy to be here. I know you are. Together we do the work. When I make music, I don't make it for me. I always sing one or two songs. As a drama. guys and we are back now if you if you watch the show like i was watching the show and actually being in the show because i i literally learned so much you definitely got a hold of some great jewels today with none other than mr alexander star over here it was definitely a pleasure thank you thank you thank yes you. it was definitely a pleasure guys you already know this is the end of the show i'm your host niji sabik make sure you are logging on to www.sanksusanktv.com we need your support without you guess what where would we be? You're everything to us. Don't forget, keep your social distancing. Make sure you're washing your hands and wearing your mask, okay? And stay healthy. I think we got a little special something, right, to, to take us out. I guess we give a little sneak peek. Yeah, let's give a little sneak peek. So I know I said a lot, and I said a lot of really deep things, but it all boils down to this. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Complicated, man, it's complicated. I'm a mess, but I know that's why you love me, baby, yeah, yeah. Do you love me, baby, yeah, yeah. Even though I'm just a little bit complicated, man, it's complicated. I'm a mess, but I know that's why you love me, baby, yeah, yeah. Do you love me, baby? Even though I'm complicated. September 26th. Woo! September 26th, guys! All right, guys, you already know. See you next time. I'm out. Peace.